good morning students in the previous video we already discussed about concept of the slope and the formula to find slope of a straight line with the help of the given angle we already discussed slope m equal to tan theta in the same way if two points are given then slope m equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 we already discussed the same logic and also we have discussed about the angle of inclination what is the meaning of angle of inclination a straight line makes an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis that is called angle of inclination with the help of the concept we are going to work out this problem see the question find the equation of a straight line cutting an intercept already you are hearing the word intercept so intercept of 5 units from the negative direction of y axis see just a simple diagram x axis y axis origin this should be y dash y dash meaning is negative of y axis so it makes an intercept of 5 units from the negative direction of y axis so from this origin to this so consider this is an intercept with the negative direction so take the minus 5 units this is the intercept made by the straight line now it is inclined see the word inclined inclined means this straight line makes an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis how much angle it makes 150 degree now i have to draw a straight line draw a straight line see this this angle is theta this theta is 150 degree see here 150 degree means obtuse angle more than 90 degree so this is the concept given in your question now we have angle theta equal to 150 degree then immediately we are able to find slope listen slope m equal to tan theta slope m equal to tan theta this is the formula we derived in your previous video now m equal to tan theta is replaced by 150 degree then we already discussed in the chapter of trigonometry how we are able to work out tan 150 degree so tan of 180 minus 30 this is the meaning of tan 150 degree so it can be split in the form of tan of 180 minus 30 therefore here m equal to 180 minus theta lies in the second quadrant in the second quadrant tan takes negative therefore we can use negative instead of theta how much angle we are having 30 degree therefore we can get tan 30 so from your trigonometric table you know the value of tan 30 tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3 with the negative so m equal to 1 by root 3 of negative then we need intercept here why intercept we already having intercept so intercept c equal to see here minus 5 so what is the formula if you are having the slope and the intercept slope intercept form from your 10th syllabus you know the meaning of that slope intercept form is y equal to mx plus c so equation of this required line so this is the required line so equation of the line is equation of the line is y equal to mx plus c this is the formula we already used in your lower standard so now y equal to instead of m we worked out the slope minus 1 by root 3 x instead of this intercept we are having negative intercept that is minus y so that's all so y equal to m x instead of this m we are working out the value minus 1 by root 3 so the concept of intercept is here negative intercept because negative of y axis that is also given in your question itself therefore c we are taking minus 5 just input y equal to minus 1 by root 3 x minus 5 so dear student read the question it makes an angle theta how much 150 degree 
So 150 degree lies in which quadrant? Second quadrant. So m equal to tan 150. Tan 150 can be split in the form of tan of 180 minus 30. It lies in the second quadrant. So tan takes negative. So minus tan 30. From your trigonometric table, we already worked out the values minus 1 by root 3. Therefore, we are getting the slope m equal to minus 1 by root 3. And also we are having the intercept. Here the intercept is in the negative direction of y axis. Therefore, we are taking intercept C equal to minus 5. Just write down the formula. Equation of the required line is y equal to mx plus c. Just input the value m and c. We are getting the result. In the same way, we are having already, you are using many concepts in your lower classes. In this exercise, we are going to revise the concept from your lower standard. Now see then, another one question. In your lower classes itself, you used the same logic. See that question, once again I am giving. Show that, take down, show that the points, show that the points 0, comma, minus 3 by 2, 0, comma, minus 3 by 2, 1, comma, minus 1, and 2, comma, minus 1 by 2 are collinear. Or collinear. See the word collinear. What is the meaning of collinear? Three points lie in the same straight line. Then it three, then the three points are said to be collinear. We have some logic for that. So here show that the points already they are giving show that 0, comma minus 3 by 2, 1, comma minus 1, and 2, comma minus 1 by 2 are collinear. So now we have to select the logic. Give the name A. This is B. This is C. In your lower standard, that means it is 10th standard itself to use it. Given three points are said to be collinear. You know the logic. What is the procedure? Slope of the line AB and the slope of the BC. That means slope of the straight line joining the two points. Again slope of BC. Or you can take out slope of AC also. If the slopes are equal, then the three points are said to be collinear. We used it already in your 10th syllabus. What is the one more concept? Then the triangle formed by these three points, area of the triangle formed by these three points is zero, then the three points are said to be collinear. Another one concept, if we are able to take out equation of the straight line joining these two points, A, B, and we can substitute the third point, then it must be satisfied. Then we can say A comma B comma C that the given three points are said to be collinear. We have three logics. All these three logics we already used in your 10th syllabus itself. Just recording it. So I am going to find the slope of the straight line AB. Just listen. Already we are having the points A, B, C. Just to give the name. So slope of AB. What is the formula? Morning itself we derived slope M equal to. If they are having the two points, then Y2 minus Y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So I can give slope of AB is say M1. I can give the name M1 like this. Slope of AB is M1. Just take down slope of AB is M1. So M1 equal to just use the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So already we are having 0 comma minus 3 by t. 3 by 2. This is given. Another one point is 1 comma minus 1, say this is A, this is B, say the name x1, y1, say the give the name x2, y2, just to substitute here, we can get slope of A, B is M1, therefore M1 equal to, what is the value of y2 here, just to substitute here, minus 1, already we are having a minus symbol, what is the value of y1 here, minus 3 by 2, just to your work is input the data. Here y2, y2 is minus 1. Again already we are having a negative symbol. Then y1, negative 3 by 2. In the same way x2, x2 is 1. Again minus, already we are having 0 as x1. Then we go to, just to simplify, negative 1. Negative of negative becomes positive. 3 by 2 divided by 1. Then we are able to simplify this one m1 is equal to here 3 by 2 minus 1 we can get to 1 by 2 
divided by 1 that is also same so m1 equal to 1 by 2 same this is the slope of a b that is m1 okay students we already used this formula slope of a b is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 select the point a and b give the name x1 y1 x2 y2 substitute here simplify just negative or negative becomes positive 3 by 2 already we are having negative 1 so it becomes 1 by 2 say this is m1 in the same way we are able to work out in the same way just listen this is the first concept m1 equal to 1 by 2 <coughs> In the same way, select B and C. So now I am taking the other two points. Slope of BC is, give the name M2. Once again, same formula because we are having two point formation. So Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So now M2 equal to, what is give the name just B. Select the point B first because we are taking the slope of BC. So select the point 1 comma minus 1. Give the name X1 Y1. Now C. What is the value of C here? 2 comma minus 1 by 2. Give the name X2 Y2. Now we are going to substitute the data as M2 equal to Y2. What is the value of Y2? Minus 1 by 2 plus. That means already negative. So use like this. Negative of y1 is minus 1 divided by what is the name of x2 2 minus what is the name of x1 1 so here m2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 negative of negative again becomes positive 1 divided by 2 minus 1 becomes 1 here 1 again negative 1 by 2 that means negative half 1 minus half what is the value so m2 is equal to minus 1 by sorry positive 1 by 2 Again positive 1 by 2 divided by 1. That means M2 is also 1 by 2. See already we have worked out M1. Just we are applied to M2. Here slope of AB is equal to slope of BC. Therefore the given three points are said to be collinear. That is your conclusion. You have to write the conclusion like this. Already we worked out M1. Here just we worked out M2. If the two slopes are said to be equal, therefore write down the conclusion M1 equal to M2. M1 equal to M2. Therefore, the given three points. What are the given three points? Given points A comma B comma C are collinear. The meaning of collinear is the three points lie in the same straight line. This is said to be collinear. So students may be asked like this. Why sir we are going, uh, using A and C? You can try yourself. See here. That is also same answer will be produced. Suppose the students may be interested to work like this. Slope of AC. You can select any one. So if you are selecting slope of AC. Consider. You can say it is name M3. Once again we are using the two point formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so just m3 equal to this one now we are going to select the point a and c what is the value of a here say the value of a is 0 comma minus 3 by 2 so it is the name x1 y1 now the name of c is 2 comma minus 1 by 2 give the name x2 y2 give the name x2 y2 now we have to substitute the data here so now M3 is equal to, see Y2, Y2 is uh, <coughs> minus 1 by 2, minus, already it has a negative 3 by 2, already it has a negative 3 by 2, divided by X2, what is the value of X2 here, 2, the value of X2 is 2, minus 0, so now we need to simplify this one, see this is M3, M3 is, now listen carefully, here 1 by 2, so negative of negative, positive 3 by 2, again we are having 1 more 2, again we are having 1 more 2, 0 comma 3 by 2, again we are using 2 comma minus 1 by 2, give the name x1 y1 and x2 y2, by using this formula y2, what is the value of y2, minus 1 by 2, negative of negative, positive, 
again 2 minus 0. Now we are going to simplify this one. So this is uh, here 3 by 2. Here that means 1 by 2. Just we are simplifying. We can get 2 by 2 divided by 2. So 2 by 2 is nothing but 1 divided by 2. This is the value of M3. This is the value of M3. We already worked out the value of M1. That is also 1 by 2. Then M2. That is also 1 by 2. Here we are getting M3. That is slope number 3. Again 1 by 2. We needed two slopes only. Just for your clarification. You take any two points. A, B, B, C. Or A, C also. All these slopes must be equal. Then we are able to say the conclusion. If the slopes are equal. Then the given three points are said to be collinear. In the same way, we are having one more question. We can take the same model. You have to try yourself in the same concept. But it has three options. Same question, but it has three types of options. All three options we already discussed in your 10th syllabus only. See the question carefully. Once again, the same logics show that the points show that the points 1 comma 3 again 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 and 1 by 2 comma 4 take the points clearly show that the points 1 comma 3 2 comma 1 and 1 by 2 comma 4 are collinear Or collinear by using by using question number one by using question number one concept of slope concept of slope this is point number one again we are going to use the second one by straight line method by using straight line method Then the third one is you can use any other method. You can use any other method. Now the first logic we already discussed. Concept of slope. So that what you are able to do. Now listen. Take the points A 1 comma 3. Then take the point B S 2 comma 1. Then C. What is the value of C here? 1 by 2 comma 4. Just your work. Just you are able to follow the, the same concept. See. You need to find slope of. Slope of AB. And slope of. BC or AC. That is your wish. If the slopes are equal. Just now we discussed. If the slopes are equal. Then the given three points are said to be linear. That is the logic just now we worked out in the previous question. So dear students, you can follow that one. So concept of slope means you need to find the slope of either AB, BC or AC. Therefore the slopes must be equal. Then you are able to say the conclusion. The given three points are said to be collinear. That logic you are able to work out. Now see the second logic. By straight line method. See here the second logic. We are going to use the straight line method. See here, already we are having three points. So select the points A as 1 comma 3, B as 2 comma 1. I am selecting out of these three points, I am taking two points. Give the name A and B. So select this is x1 comma y1. This is x2 comma y2. From your 10th knowledge, already you used this knowledge. The straight line joining any two points. Equation of the straight line joining any two points. Equation of AB is Y minus Y1 divided by Y2 minus Y1 is equal to X minus X1 divided by X2 minus X1. You know this formula in your lower classes. We already used many times. So y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1. 
This is the equation of the straight line joining any two points. Just we are going to input the data. See here y minus what is the name of y1 here? Just to substitute the data. See y2. What is the name of y2 here? 1 minus what is the name of y1? 3. That is equal to x minus what is the name of x1 here? 1 divided by x2. What is the name of x2 here? 2 minus x1. x1 is 1. Just we need to simplify this one. We need to simplify this one. Now listen, y minus 3 divided by 1 minus 3 means we can get minus 2 here. Equal to here x minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 means 1. Just we need to cross multiply this. 1 is cross multiplying we can get to y minus 3. Minus 2 is cross multiplying to the other side we can get minus 2x minus of minus plus 2. So listen, just to cross multiply, y minus 3 is equal to minus 2x plus negative of negative 2. Convert everything in the same side, we can get 2x positive here. Already we are having y, then minus 3. Again, this 2 goes to the other side, we will take the negative symbol. So the equation is 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. So this is the straight line joining the given two points 1 comma 3 again 2 comma 1. So we are using this formula y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 just to substitute the data here then simplify you are able to get the equation of the straight line that is 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. Now our aim with the help of the straight line we need to prove the given three points are said to be collinear. We have already selected two points. Still we, need, we are having one more point. That is to be the point C. C of 1 by 2 comma minus 4. Now I need to substitute here. Substitute. See the logic. Substitute. C equal to 1 by 2 comma 4 in the equation. In the equation 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. That means this third point will satisfy the equation. What is the meaning of satisfying? Instead of this x comma y we are substituting the data 1 by 2 comma 4 it is going to be satisfied. See here I am able to substitute this data then we are able to verify the required proof. So substitute c equal to 1 by 2 comma 4 in the equation. This equation just now we derived. See here 2 instead of x 1 by 2. Then plus the value of y is here 4. Then minus 5. See here 2 will be removed. We can get to 1. We can get 1 plus 4. Again minus 5. That means 5 or 4 plus 1 becomes 5. Again 5 which is equal to 0. See you are on the side already we are having 0. So the third point will satisfy the equation. Then we can say the conclusion the given three points are said to be collinear. This is to be by using the method of straight line. Here in your second question the question asked is use the straight line method. The meaning of straight line is we are having two points. Select any two points. You can select A, B, R, B, C, R, C, A. That is your wish. You can select any two points. Then find the equation of the straight line joining the two points. Now we are able to get this result with the help of the formula. Substitute the data. Simplify. We are able to get equation of the line is 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0. Our aim we have to substitute the third data. What is the third data? Means third point. 1 by 2 comma 4. That means if the equation passing through a point, that is the concept. This equation passing through the point. If any equation passing through a particular point, we can substitute the values of x comma y here. Then it should be satisfied. We can get this value as 0 because you have just said already we are having 0. If you are substituting, it will produce the same result. Therefore, you can get the equation. Suppose some students may be writing their equation like this 2x 
plus y equal to 5. This is also same only. Then you can substitute the data here, see, 2 times x is replaced by 1 by 2. Then y is replaced by 4. That is equal to other side 4. That means 2 must be removed 1 plus 4. See here, 5 also. The same result we are having. Right? Suppose 0 is in the other side, you can get the 0 as whatever it may be. LHS must be RHS, that is must be the meaning of satisfying. So the third point will satisfy the equation. Therefore, conclusion is the given three points are said to be collinear. Then we need to prove the same question in one more way. Use any other method. The meaning of any other method already in your lower class you are used with. The area of the triangle formed by the given three points is zero, then we can say the given three points are said to be collinear. For example, just I am writing a simple diagrammatic explanation. C, A, B, C. So it must contain some area. It must contain some area, any, any quantity area. This is called area of the triangle. We are having the formula. Suppose I am considering x1, y1. Here comes x2, y2. Then x3, y3. x3, y3. This is the triangle. It has some area, any one quantity. What is the formula to find? Area of the triangle ABC. Area of the triangle ABC. From your 10th syllabus, you are using this formula. Half times x1 is multiplication with the y2 minus y3. Just to see, I am writing here. Area of the triangle, because we need to sub do the calculation here. Just I am writing the formula here. See here. Area of this triangle half times x1 of y2 minus y3 y2 minus y3 then plus x2 then y3 minus y1 again plus x3 then y1 minus y2 so we are able to substitute the given three points x1 y2 minus y3 x2 plus again plus x2 y3 minus y1 again x3 y1 minus y2 so we are able to know the values of a what is the value of a that is the given point 1 comma 3 then the point b is already given 2 comma 1 and the point c is also given 1 by 2 comma 4 so give the name here x1 comma y1 give the name here x2 comma y2 give the name here x3 comma y3 so you are what dear students you have to substitute this if you are substituting this and simplifying suppose here we are getting zero as the resultant see here it has some area suppose the point c is here or the point c is here whatever you can say the point c is here then the three points are said to be collinear at the same time area of this triangle is zero so as per the definition as per the concept area of the triangle means this is the required area if you are substituting the data you can get some any uh, any result because it has some area suppose area of this triangle is zero if area becomes zero then what is your conclusion the point c must be in the same line then the area is zero if the area is zero the points the points a comma b comma c are collinear are said to be collinear this is the third concept we have to work out this calculation yourself because just you need to substitute simplify already question itself they are given the data show that the points are collinear therefore the area must be zero so do your calculation just this is your work substitute the data simplify you can get area is zero 
then say your conclusion if the area of this triangle see the diagrammatic explanation if the area of the triangle is zero that means this point c must lie on the same line then only we can say area of the triangle is zero the given three points are said to be collinear so dear students you have to work out yourself on this concept what is the first concept by using the slope what is the second concept by using the straight line what is the third one any other method means area finding the area of the triangle if the area is zero we are able to say the given three points are said to be collinear so this one is already used in your lower classes itself so just do your calculation then one more sum this is also used in your lower standard just you are recalling all the concept see the question carefully and the take down find find the equation of the find the equation of the straight line find the equation of the straight line passing through the point passing through the points passing through the points 8 comma 3 passing through the point 8 comma 3 and having and having the having the sum of intercept the having the intercept the having the intercepts whose sum is whose sum is what this is the question find the equation of the straight line Passing through the point eight comma three, passing through the point eight comma three, and having the intercepts whose sum is one. <coughs> See, you already having this equation. Equation of the straight line having the intercept a and b. That means x intercept a and y intercept b. What is the formula we are already used? X by a plus y by b equal to one. So we are going to use the same concept here. Then we are able to get the result. Now, dear students, always take a rough diagram. Then only your knowledge will be very clear. See here, I am drawing a simple diagram. If you are seeing this diagram, you can recall all the concept. This is the straight line. I am saying the giving the name A B. This must be origin. It has x intercept A. The line has y intercept B. Then equation of this line passing through the point. Say, just I am taking a point eight comma three. Taking a point eight comma three. Now we are going to find out equation of this straight line AB passing through the point eight comma three and having the intercept A and B. Then what is the formula? Equation of the line. Equation of the line AB. So we are having the intercept. Therefore, we can say. X by A plus Y by B equal to one. We were tenth standard. We were already used this formula. So equation of the line AB, X by A plus Y by B equal to one. But here they have, they have, they given a small concept, small information. Sum of the intercepts. Sum of the intercepts. Sum of the intercepts. The meaning of sum of the intercepts means a plus b equal to one. This is x intercept. This is y intercept. Therefore, the sum of the intercept a plus b equal to one. I can write like this: b equal to one minus a. So I am going to substitute the value of b here because here a and b are unknown. So I want to eliminate. So now x by a plus y by instead of this b. I am converting in the see here two unknowns. Here I am converting in the same letter. One only one unknown is equal to one. So x by a plus y by b equal to one is the equation of the straight line in intercept form. Here a and b are unknown, but as per the given concept, sum of the intercepts a plus b equal to one. I can write like this: b equal to one minus a. Instead of this b, I am substituting the reason. You must know the reason. Here a and b are two unknown quantities. If you are replacing this b as one uh, one minus a, see here 
They are having only one unknown. This line passing through the point A comma 3. So we are having the concept. This line or this equation passing through. This line or this equation passing through. Already the point is given A comma 3. So a particular equation passing through a given point. What is the process? We can substitute 8 comma 3 instead of x comma y. See here x is replaced by 8. x is replaced by 8 divided by a plus y is replaced by 3 divided by 1 minus a equal to 1. Yes, students, up to this level, just <coughs> recall your concept. A straight line making intercept on x axis as well as on y axis. This intercept A, this intercept B, we already used in your lower classes. Equation of the line AB. See, this is the equation of the right line AB. By using the intercept formation, x by A plus y by B equal to 1. Here, one information is given, one data is given in your question itself. Sum of the intercept is 1. The meaning of sum of the intercept is A plus B equal to 1. I can write like this, B equal to 1 minus A or you can write a equal to 1 minus b that is also acceptable we need to convert the two unknowns in terms of a single unknown that is the concept so we are working out now this line passing through the point a comma 3 that is also given in the question just the meaning is inter sorry instead of x comma y this substitute the data here x is replaced by 8 y is replaced by 3 now we need to simplify this one now listen, we need to simplify. Just this is the formula we need x by a plus y divided by 1 minus a equal to 1. This equation passing through the point, then it can be modified like this. Now, dear students, the denominator is different denominators. We need to take LCM as a of 1 minus a. Now this 8 is multiplication with 1 minus a, then 3 is multiplication with a, that is equal to 1, just to take the LCM. So different denominators are having, take LCM, a of 1 minus a, just 8 is multiplication with 1 minus a, here 3 is multiplication with a. Now this is cross multiplication with the other side, 8 multiplication with 1, we can get 8, 8 multiplication with the negative a, we can get minus 8a. Already you are having 3a. Then this denominator is cross multiplying. 1 is multiplication with the same. Therefore, a of 1 minus a. a of 1 minus a. Just to do the cross multiplication. See here, 8 minus 3a and 8a must be simplified. You can get minus 5a. This is equal to a is multiplication inside. We can get a minus a squared. Convert everything in the same side. This a converting means a squared as positive already you are having minus 5a this a again comes to the other side we can get minus a then you are having 8 equal to 0 convert these two numbers the other side 8 then minus 5a the a squared becomes positive a becomes negative now we are getting a quadratic equation a squared 5a negative a again negative we can get 6a then plus 8 equal to 0 we are able to factorize this one. See what are the factors here? A minus 2 and A minus 4 equal to 0. See this is one multiplication. You can get 4 again 2 multiplication. We can get 8. On simplification these two numbers we can get minus 68. By factorization A minus 2, A minus 4 equal to 0. Therefore one value of A equal to 4 then another one value of a equal to 2. You are getting two different values of a because you are having a quadratic equation. a squared minus 6a plus 8 equal to 0. On factorizing, we can get the two values of a equal to 4, a equal to 2. Now, we need to substitute this value of a here. Then you are able to get the equation. See here, if a equal to 4, then we can get the equation x by a is replaced by 4 plus y divided by here you are substituting the value as 4 that means 1 minus 4 
that is equal to 1. So simplifying x divided by 4, you are getting negative here, minus y divided by 3 equal to 1. This is required one equation. See this one. If you are substituting a equal to 4, then x by 4, y by 3 equal to 1. If you are taking LCM, then you can simplify. Otherwise, you can leave uh, like this also because you are using the intercept formation. You can leave here also. x by 4 minus y by 3 equal to 1. Hey students, now on substituting this a equal to 4. See here x by 4, y by 1 minus 4 equal to 1. 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3. I can write here. Now see one more concept. One more equation we are able to substitute. If a equal to 2, because already we worked out two values of a. So listen, if, if a equal to 2, then we want to substitute here x by a. Instead of a, substitute the delta 2 plus y divided by 1 minus 2 is equal to 1. See here, x by 2 then becomes minus 1 by, see 1 minus 1, we can get y divided by 1 is equal to 1. So x by 2 minus y by 1 is equal to 1, 1 minus 2. So 1 minus 2 means we can get negative. So x by a, a is replaced by 2. See here a is replaced by 2. Then y plus y divided by 1 minus a, again a is replaced by 2. This 1 simplification with minus we can get minus. So x by 2 minus y by 1 equal to 1. This is the equation, required equation. Second, if you are using the if a equal to 2, if a equal to 2, this is the second equation we derived. So dear students, we are going to substitute the data a equal to 4, a equal to 2, then we can get two types of equation. So far we discussed some problems based on the slopes and based on the equations of the straight lines and area of the triangle formula used then slope by using the tan theta. So dear students, go through all the questions then check yourself. Thank you.